Look, it's my name printed on this case. That's pretty great. But the question is, is the case that my name's printed on any good? The short answer for this case to file leather case is that it's a good case if you're really careful with your iPhone. And Mobile Reviews A Monty and I aren't that fancy, but we do appreciate being unique, we'll say, which is why Monty wears ties and I cut my own hair. How do you like my isolation cut? This one was actually pretty easy to do. The next one's gonna be pretty tough and I made sure that it's YouTube appropriate. The back is just a mess. The Case Defy Leather case is a tiny case. There isn't really much to it and it's one of the only cases that I've used out of hundreds that I have that actually has smaller corners than edges. Most of the time corners are bigger, the edges are smaller, but it's the other way around for my name case. For the iPhone 11 Pro Max version, the case only weighs 27 grams, which isn't much, especially when you compare it to something like the Silk Smartish or the Smartish uh, Gripzilla. This thing weighs twice as much as this case, but obviously it's more protective. This case won't slide around on the back or the front. And the texture of this product actually reminds me of the OG uh, solid suits, the ones that actually didn't really make into mass production. It has enough texture for me to use my iPhone decently in one hand, but it doesn't really feel sticky like most TPU cases are. Now the case is made from vegan leather or full leather, so it's really not gonna wear very well when compared to you know actual leather. There's no patina that's gonna happen on this product. And when it comes to general wear and tear, dropping this slightly on something that's not completely smooth will leave a noticeable mark. Now, when when it comes to iPhone access, I had no issues with, you know, using my iPhone in this case. That's to be expected and I'd be really worried if I did say that there was a problem because again, this case is so thin there's almost nothing there. The one thing that kind of stood out to me for this case to buy product is that there's this gold ring around the camera cut instead of the usual black. Now I thought case to went with the black ring on their clear cases because it was following Apple's accessories guidelines when it came to leather cases, but they've got a gold colored metallic ring which seems to be a tad more reflective than the black ring so... Yeah, I don't know. Now with the monogramming, you are limited to either eight characters or three, depending on the design, and the potential layouts will depend on the designs as well. Now, unlike the custom AirPod colors, there are several colors of cases to choose from. It's a very pastel -y palette. What surprises me with this leather case is that you can't do custom prints on it, so there's no chibi Monty for you. I'm sorry. You can do custom prints on their clear cases, just not this leather one, for whatever reason. Remember, this is part of the isolation video series, so if you are bored, send it to somebody who else do you think is bored because one review a day between 12 and noon every single day that's what I'm doing for the next until this ends or until July whichever one's first now when it comes to protection like the seal case we just reviewed just don't drop your iPhone in it in this case on purpose I just I think it's gonna do okay at four feet but yeah there's so very little to this case that yeah, four feet would almost be a stretch almost so that's all I got for this video again if you uh, are very careful with your phone great product if you're not very careful with your phone think twice think thrice before buying it and if you're gonna buy it I do have a discount code for you guys that's either in the description section below or the uh, comment section below uh, that's kind of all I got. First time watching one of my videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe. I am producing content once a day for the next foreseeable future. By, I mean foreseeable future till the end of July. That's kind of how I planned it out to be. We'll see. One review a day. Between noon and one, every single day. Check me out. Notification. Push that so it goes ding every single time I release a video. Thanks for watching. Look mom, I'm so famous that I've got my name on a case. Now the case is made from vegan leather. Led leather, leather, like Monty's isolation cut. I did it with a pair of office scissors. I think I'm gonna approach uh, Monty's hair on a daily basis, and I'm just just gonna snip stuff that seems a little long. So today it's gonna be like his chest and his neck. I'm gonna just start kind of trimming it down a little bit. He does look a little better, but he also doesn't look like my dog. I'm actually gonna leave his ear hair, I think, and he'll just kind of have these long, like really long poodle ears instead of his schnauzer ears. So I'm just wrapping up this video and I talk about the solid suit, the OG solid suit in the video and I kind of reminded myself of kind of what happened with that case. I really like that leather case and it like this case was so, it reminds me so much of it. But I remember somebody asking for it and this was back then when I dabbled with like giveaways, people wanted cases so I'd send it to them. And so like it cost like 20 bucks to send it to them and the guy was pretty happy. And then he went and got a new iPhone like two days later and bought a different case. And so I basically, it costs 
20 bucks doesn't seem like much, but at that time when I was starting this channel, when I had absolutely no revenue, 20 bucks was a lot of money. Like that was food for like two, three days sort of thing. And so that was so disheartening to see that happen. Um, so, you know, it's just kind of all these little stories tucked in with specific cases, uh, which is kind of why I kind of keep them all because they all, when I come back to them, there's always these reminders, we'll say, memories.